Samsung had plans to fully switch to its own Exynos chips for upcoming flagship phones, but things might be changing. The Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2 could now be the better choice for the Galaxy S26 series. Originally, Samsung wanted to use its new Exynos 2600 chip in the Galaxy S26. The idea was to move away from using Qualcomm's Snapdragon processors. But new reports are suggesting that Qualcomm might not raise the price of the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2. And even if the price goes up a little, it won't be enough to force Samsung to raise the price of its phones. This is important because the main reason Samsung wanted to rely on its Exynos 2600 was the fear that the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2 would be too expensive. After the Galaxy S25 came out, there were rumors that Qualcomm's new chip would be much pricier than before. If that happened, Samsung would have had no choice but to increase the Galaxy S26 prices too, but raising prices could hurt Samsung. Especially with Apple also launching its iPhone 17 series around the same time. If Samsung's prices go to high, people might choose the iPhone instead, which already has strong performance and a reliable ecosystem. Now, with Qualcomm keeping the price of its Snapdragon chip stable, Samsung has more flexibility. If the Exynos 2600 isn't ready in time or doesn't perform well enough, Samsung can safely use Snapdragon again. Many users already prefer Snapdragon chips anyway. For years, people have said Snapdragon performs better than Exynos, it runs cooler, is more power efficient, and manages battery better. That's why many users are actually hoping Samsung will choose Snapdragon for the S26 series. A recent poll shows that over 76% of users prefer Snapdragon over Exynos for the Galaxy S26. Less than 5% picked Exynos as their top choice. That shows most people don't fully trust Exynos yet. Still, Samsung isn't giving up. The company has been working to fix problems with its chip production, especially performance issues and yield problems. Their 3 nanometers process is finally more stable, and now they're also working on 10 nanometers chips. If all goes well, the Exynos 2600 could still be ready on time. But producing chips at 10 nanometers is very difficult and expensive. Delays are common. If that happens, Samsung doesn't need to panic. Thanks to Qualcomm, they have a solid backup plan. This situation is similar to what happened with the Galaxy S-5. In many countries, Samsung used the Snapdragon version because Exynos wasn't ready. Now they can do the same if needed. At the same time, Apple is facing its own issues. The iPhone 17 is expected to use 3 nanometers chips made by TSMC. Apple is also planning to shift to 10 nanometers chips in the future. But political and economic challenges could slow things down. If Donald Trump returns to office, new tariffs or rules might force Apple to make iPhones in the US, which could disrupt their supply chain and raise costs. If that happens, even if Samsung has to use a more expensive chip like Snapdragon, their phone prices could still compete with or be lower than Apple's. This gives Samsung a big advantage. No matter what happens with the Exynos 2600, they now have to solid options. That means they won't be stuck or forced into raising prices. In the end, this whole situation shows how chip production affects the phones we buy. Whether it's about price hikes, chip delays, or weaker performance, it's the customers who deal with the impact. But for now, the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2 looks like Samsung's safest option. It's powerful, affordable, and trusted by users. Now, all attention is on whether Samsung can get the Exynos 2600 ready before the Galaxy S26 launches. But even if they don't, they're in a good position thanks to Qualcomm's steady pricing and reliable performance. It's a win-win for Samsung and hopefully for users too.